G'day lads, this video is the only video on YouTube to walk you through how to predict the Australian Open completely from scratch in Microsoft Excel, so make sure you chuck a like and subscribe to the channel to become an official lad. So firstly lads, I've imported player data into Excel using a Power Query. If you're unsure what I mean with the term Power Query, check out the Power Query video on my channel. The website I've imported these stats from is called Tennis Abstract and it's right here on the screen. This website's really good because it provides live and updated ELO ratings for each player and ranks them accordingly. By the way, an ELO rating calculates the relative skill levels of tennis players, so a player with a higher rating, such as Djokovic for example, is assumed to be a better player than somebody with a lower ELO rating and vice versa. So we can see the data from the website. We've got rank, player, their current age, their current ELO rating, then their hard court raw ELO rating along with the clay court and grass court. And then over here is the adjusted hard court ELO rating, which is a 50-50 blend between a player's true ELO rating and their hard court raw rating. And then we've got the same for the clay court and the grass court. Then we've also got their peak ELO rating in their career. So to refresh this data, go over to the data tab and click on this icon here, which reads refresh all. And while it's refreshing and pulling new data from the website into our spreadsheet, you can see at the bottom of the spreadsheet, it says running background, background query. So to make our calculations later on in the video easier, easier, we're going to name this range of plays in our data set. So I highlight all the plays and go down all the way to the bottom cell. So it's a dynamic array. And then in the upper left hand corner over here, double click and type in players to name the range players, press enter. Let's do the same thing for the hard court ELO ratings and the adjusted one over here because the Australian Open is played in hard court. So we want the relevant uh, stats and a player's strength for that court. So upper left hand quarter, corner, hard underscore court underscore ELO, press enter. And now we've successfully named that range as well as the players range. So name this sheet raw data and go ahead and create a new sheet named bracket. Now in this worksheet over here, lads, we're going to create the Australian open bracket from the quarterfinals all the way to the final, which you saw at the start of the video. Um, we have to start with some formatting first though. So highlight cells B4 to C5, wrap it with an outside border, and then we want to line through the middle of it. So do a bottom border there. Now copy and paste this and paste it below in the cell B10. And this will be the left hand side of the draw representing the quarterfinals. So pasting it again in E7, H7 and K7. This will be the semi-final, final and semi-final. Copy and paste that for the right hand side of the quarterfinals. And now we can do a better job of visually representing that by going up to the top B1 to C1. Uh, making sure our text is 18 and then labeling this the quarterfinal. Copy and paste this um, to all of the matches. So the middle will be final and then the outer two will be the semifinals. Um, in, the, in each box for the top is the player and on the right hand side is, the, is their percentage of winning the match. So make room for the player names and we're going to highlight all the left hand sides of the boxes in the quarterfinals and we're going to create a drop down list of players in these so go into the data tab data validation allow a list and our source will be equals players which was our range we named earlier that will create a drop down list for us, us to choose players from and our first player will be Djokovic and you should highlight all the cells which are going to have player names in them like I've done here and format it so that it looks a bit more appealing we'll change it to size 16 and center the cell now we have to fill out the remaining players and matches left in the tournament by selecting from the drop-down lists in each cell. So Djokovic is playing Rublev in this next quarterfinal matchup. Shelton is playing Paul. And then in the other side of the draw, Kachanov is versing Korda. And Tsitsipas is playing Jiri Leheka. All right, lads, once you've done that, we need to calculate the probability of each player winning in their matchups. Next to Djokovic in this cell right here will be his chance of winning the match. And below that, next to Rublev will be the number one, representing 100%. Don't be confused by this. Uh, say, for example, Djokovic has a 60% chance of winning the match, then it can be simply determined that Rublev has a 40% chance of winning the same match. So now the formula to calculate Djokovic's win chance using our ELO ratings is at the bottom of the screen and we'll type it into Excel now. So equals one divided by open bracket one plus 10 to the power open bracket minus open bracket X lookup. And if you don't have 
XLOOKUP in your office package, use the equivalent such as VLOOKUP. Our lookup value is Novak in B4. We're looking him up in the players array and we're returning the hard court ELO um, array, the named range we named earlier to return his uh, hard court rating. Minus X lookup, open bracket, B5, we're doing Rublev now. Lookup arrays plays again, return array is hard court ELO. Close bracket, close bracket, divided by 400, close bracket, close bracket. And I like to wrap these complicated formulas in an if error function so that if there's an error, speech mark, speech mark, um, it'll return nothing. So here we can see that Djokovic has a 73% chance of winning the match compared to Rublev's 27%. Copy these two cells and paste them for the other quarterfinal games and the win chances should come up as so. Next lads, we have to write a formula that will randomly select a player to advance to the next round according to their chance of winning, we just determined. So in this cell right here, we're simulating the winner between Djokovic and Rublev, so type in the following formula. Equals index open bracket our raise b4 to b5 the players our row number is count if open bracket our range is both of the percentages the criteria speech mark less than or equals to speech mark and <clears throat> rand r a n d open bracket close bracket this is going to uh, pick a random decimal between zero and one plus one close bracket and wrap this in an if error function too, so that if there's an error, it, it will return nothing. Press enter, and we can see for this simulation, Djokovic has been determined the winner. And if we refresh this using the F9 key or backspace, um, Rublev comes up approximately 27% of the time, in line with the percentage win percentage we determined in the quarterfinal matchup. So if we autofill, we can change um, change the formula by just changing the ranges uh, to the other quarterfinal match so we can simulate a winner there. And we can see uh, we have a Djokovic-Shelton match for this. And we can do the win percentage by copy and pasting the formula from the quarterfinal match. We can see Djokovic has an 81% chance of beating Tommy Paul. We can find a winner by changing the ranges again. So Rublev goes through to the final here. Let's do the other side of the draw, change the range to the quarterfinal match between Kachanov and Korda. Again, changing the ranges to the Sitsipas Leheka game to find a winner uh, who advances from the quarterfinals to the semifinals and do the same thing for the other finalists versus Djokovic in this simulation. <clears throat> now the only thing left is finding a winner of the final of the Australian Open. So go up to the H3 to I3 merge and center this. We can write a big winner heading in bold. And then under this, we can return a winner by copying pasting Novak cell here. So copy, but when we paste, we have to paste special, paste the formulas. That's right here. So click on formulas. It'll return zero. We just have to uh, fix the ranges. So it's the Rublev Tsitsipas matchup. And press enter, and we have Djokovic as our Australian Open winner in this simulation. And when we press the F9 key or backspace, refreshing all the cells, the winner changes each simulation. Next, lads, we're going to do some conditional formatting so that the winner of each game is highlighted automatically for us to see by Excel. So highlight both the Djokovic and Rublev cells, that is the players in the match, and select the drop-down list in conditional formatting over here, then select highlight cells rules, then equal to, and a window will pop up in the middle of your screen. We want a cell to appear green if that player advances to the next round, and if a player does advance to the next round, he will be in cell E7 over here. Press OK, and you'll see that the winner of the match is highlighted in green, and when the winner changes, Excel updates accordingly. Let's do the same thing for the Sheldon and Paul match below. So uh, once you press equal to, select the green fill, and cell E8, because again, the winner of this match will advance to the cell E8, so that's uh, the player we want to highlight. I'm going to speed through the rest of this formatting um, for you guys until I reach the final where we're going to do something slightly different. All right, so highlight the Djokovic and Tsitsipas cells. And this time when you go into conditional formatting, select uh, next to the format width. So cell uh, H4 first, but format width over here, go into customize format. 
and then uh, from here select fill and the background color we're going to select gold so it'll clearly stand out from the rest of the winners to indicate that this player has won the Australian Open and when we refresh uh, that changes according to who wins um, in the simulation and we can do the same thing with the cell up here and when you do a few simulations by pressing F9 or backspace you can just double check that everything's in place and there's no little errors all right lads now we have to simulate our results so we can gain some insight into each player's chance of winning the whole tournament so create a new sheet and name it simulations and from the cell B2, I'm going to have each player's name as their header using the transpose function, which just inverts our vertical list in the bracket tab over here horizontally. So for the first match, we've got Djokovic and Rublev. And annoyingly, we have to do this four separate times, like so. The second match, Shelton and Paul, Kachanov and Korda, and lastly, uh, Sitsipas and Leheka. So once you've done that in cell A3, and you can put it in bold, uh, write trials. And under this cell, use the sequence function uh, if you have the newest version of Office to spill numbers going down to 1000 because for this video, I'm gonna do 1000 simulations of the Australian Open. Now under Novak Djokovic right here, we have to come up with a formula to represent what stage of the tournament he progressed to. So I'm gonna use a simple count if function to record how many times his name appears in the bracket worksheet. So count if and our range is uh, the box in the bracket worksheet and we're looking for Novak Djokovic in those uh, matches so that simulations B2 and reference just the row not the column and we can see Novak gets number three which means he played three matches the quarters semis and final meaning he was knocked out in the final where he lost to Tsitsipas uh, so autofill for the other players by dragging the cell across to Leheka. And in this single simulation, you should see only one player with a four, meaning they won the tournament. In this case, it's a pass. One player with a three, meaning they lost in the final, Tommy Paul. And two players with a two who progressed to the semis and four players with one who did make it out of the quarterfinals. Now using the control shift arrow shortcut on your keyboard, click on the trial cell and highlight all the way across and all the way down. Once you've done that, let's go into the data tab up here select the what if analysis drop down list then select data table skip the row input cell option and for the column input cell put in a random cell away from your data set such as n2 press ok and suddenly a thousand simulations of the australian open will appear uh, now in every simulation you'll see one four indicating who won the tournament and it changes each time for example sits pass won the first tournament and was knocked out in the quarterfinals in the 16th tournament in which the joker won now we have to compile these results, so create a new worksheet named results, and across the top of the sheet as headers write players, quarterfinals, semifinals, final, and winner. And under these, we're gonna find each player's chance of being eliminated at each stage. So to get all the players um, in this column, simply transpose the horizontal list we made in the simulations tab. So B2 to I2. And then now to find the number of times uh, Djokovic was eliminated in the quarterfinals, I'm going to use a count if function. So write equals count if. Open bracket. Now our range index. Open bracket. Our array is going to be in the simulations tab. That's B4 all the way to I1003, so every single simulation we've done for each player. Make sure you absolute reference this range, both B4 and I1003. Our row number is zero, and our column number is the match formula, open bracket. Our lookup value is back in the results tab, and that's our player, Novak. Make sure you only reference the column, not the row, so just uh, put a dollar sign in front of the A. Our lookup array, if you scroll up, that's going to be from B2 to I2, and that's the players. So we're looking for Djokovic in this range, and our match type is zero because we want an exact match. Double close bracket, comma. Our criteria is one because we're finding uh, the cells with one in them, meaning that player, or Djokovic in this cell, has been eliminated in the quarterfinals. So close bracket, press enter, and we can see uh, 258 times Djokovic was eliminated in the quarterfinals, but that doesn't um, 
means something useful to us right now because we want to find it as a percentage of the total number of simulations. So we'll divide by a counter function, counter, and our values will be from A4 to A1 million so that if we decide to add uh, more simulations, these percentages will update by themselves. Press enter and refresh. We can see Djokovic's uh, quarterfinal elimination percentage is at 27 roundabouts. Auto fill that down. And um, you should get a sum of exactly 400%, as in every tournament, four players are eliminated in the quarterfinals. Now, when we autofill this across, there's only one thing we need to change, which is our count if criteria. Um, so for this, change this to a two, because um, if a player is eliminated in the semifinals, their name's going to appear twice in our simulations. Drag this down, our sum should be 200%. In the final, our player's name will appear three times in the bracket tab. Drag this down, the total sum should be 100%. And for the winner, the player name will appear four times. Drag this down, this sum should two equal 100%. And then now to double check everything is right, make sure the sum of the percentages overall equal 800% as there are eight players in our model. And that every player's row individually equals 100%. Now our model's good to go, so thanks for watching lads, and if you want to become an official lad, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications.